Hello, in this video we're going to go over a few basic steps on creating sketches. I'm going to go over, um, well we're going to add some keyboard shortcuts which are going to t save a lot of time uh, when designing parts, uh, how to start a sketch, how to draw lines and circles and talk about object tracking. In the previous video we went over the basics of SolidWorks and we talked about the user interface, uh, workspace, function tree etc. Please watch that video if you haven't already, um, so when I mention these things you're going to know what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and open up SolidWorks. First thing we want to do is click this little page icon, click part and click OK. That's going to create a new part. So if we go up here to this cog, click the little arrow which is going to drop down this menu, click customize and then click shortcut on this top here, click keyboard. Okay, you can see now we've got these list of options we can use. If we click in search for and type sketch, and what we're going to want to do is scroll down the list a little bit till we come to this first one, which is under utilities. So to add the shortcut key, we're going to click in that box there, and for this one we're going to use the letter S. It's given us a, a warning saying that that keyboard shortcut's already assigned to something, but well, I know for sure that all of these you're not going to use as much as you will these, so yeah, that's fine. Let's just click enter and it'll overwrite that. So, next one is line, that's already got one in. We'll go down to corner rectangle, we're going to assign that to the key R. Next one is going to be circle. This one here, so we type C, enter. Go down a little bit further. Don't know why mine's not letting me go down. Yeah, so we've just done circle. The next one we'll do is center line, which is a handy one. We've already used L, so we're going to hold down Shift and L, uh, and that's going to sign that keyboard shortcut down till we find offset entities. We'll use O for that one. Um, but entities will use shift C, enter, trim, T, mirror, M, and we'll also add one for dimensioning. So we need to go back up to the search for type in smart, and this top one here, which is smart dimension, will add the letter D, enter. Once you've done that, you can click this drop down arrow here to show commands with keyboard shortcuts get rid of that what we've just typed in for the search and that's going to give you a list of all of the commands that have keyboard shortcuts now you can either print this list or you can click this and save it to a PDF by selecting that and clicking OK so once we've done that make sure we click OK otherwise that's going to wipe out all them changes we've just made ok so we've created a part now we want to start sketching so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go over here to this sketch panel this is the standard way of doing it click in sketch in the ribbon and then click sketch and then it's going to ask us which plane we want to start the sketch on so we want to click a plane that we want to start but we've assigned a shortcut key for this so if we if we type s it's going to bring us to the same screen so we'll click the front um, we're just going to draw some bits and bobs. So all of these commands are now up in here, up in the ribbon. So you can see we've got line, rectangle, square, slot, circle, arcs, uh, hexagons, splines, ellipses. Uh, and there's also little drop down arrows to give you more options. So uh, for instance, this is just a corner to corner rectangle. So the first point we'd select is there, the second point would be there, and that would be the rectangle created. If we chose center rectangle, we could choose the center where we want the rectangle to start from and then choose the first corner. But first of all, let's just go over some basics. So if we type L, it's going to bring us up the line command. And if we click anywhere on the screen once and then drag it out, we can see that that's now drawing a line. You can see the cursor to the right of the little pencil has got some numbers. That is the measurement 
that that line is roughly. Um, if I drag it up, you can see there's a little yellow box now with a line, which is a horizontal line. That's called a sketch relation. So that is telling us that that line is now horizontal. We'll go over sketch relations in the next video in, in more detail. So let's just click here once. One left mouse click, and you can see that it's given us an option to draw another line straight away. You can see some little yellow dotted sort of guidelines. Now these are object called object tracking so you can see if I snap to these yellow lines now we've got sort of a, an inverted T which is making this is telling us the sketch relation to the previous line is now perpendicular if I bring it to here it's going to give us a line with a little dot and another line that's collinear so let's just drag it down here somewhere if we do it here we can see it's perpendicular now it's white it's telling us it's perpendicular to the object track line which is a center point of that line so we'll just drag down here click again click again click again click again and you can see we've drawn some lines if you want to stop drawing these lines just hit the escape key uh, and that's the lines drawn now we can click on this line I'm just going to highlight it in like a lighter blue hit delete we can delete that line we don't want that one click this one let's delete that one so that's drawing lines so let's draw a rectangle so hit R on your keyboard click once and drag it out and then click again and that's your rectangle drawn you can see that the inside of the square is shaded in blue that means that all of these lines have created a looped contour uh, and there's no gaps and I'm just gonna go back to the line I missed something out there uh, type L again so we've got the line now if we left click and hold and drag it out to where we want it and let go that's just going to draw a single line now it's not going to keep snapping lines uh, and keep drawing so circle type C which brings up the circle command and now we can click around here and let's draw a circle <clears throat> now we could draw lots of circles um, Let's go ahead and draw an arc, center point arc. So we start where we want the center of the circle or the center of the arc, click again and drag it round. So yeah, just, uh, just go ahead and start drawing lines and just get used to how all the lines work. Um, just the basics of sketching really, get yourself familiar with it all. Um, so that's the basics of sketches. In the next video, we'll talk about just get rid of this. In the next video we'll be talking about sketch relations in more detail um, and the origin. Uh, well, just lots of bits and bobs on the origin and etc. Um, please like and subscribe and also click the grey bell next to the subscribe once you've clicked it to receive notifications on next video upload so you'll get an email or a uh, notification on your phone um, just letting you know when the next video is available. Okay, thanks for watching.